Hello everyone, on this video I'm gonna show you guys how did I made this transition effect with my child theme. If you don't know what is this uh, child theme, uh, check the description and watch the first video. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about it every time. So go watch that video so you learn about this child theme and the settings and stuff. So I added this feature just today and when you click something, it can trigger another element and the animation in it. Okay. So let's refresh it. This is what it does, really. Uh, it is it is pretty simple. When you think about it, oh, it, you just click and animate. That's it. What what what? Sinan? Is it that too simple? Nothing is too simple, by the way. And when you make it look too simple, that means it is complex AF. Okay. <laughs> so this is the idea. When you click something. The animation happens goes down and the second animation goes up when the page changes look at the url boom look at the url again boom look at the url again boom so the first animation is going down that's first element second anima uh, animation and element going up actually there is two animation but it tricks you to think like, oh, it feels like there is one animation, but it's not. There is actually two elements and two animation. Okay. Every time there is two animation. So let me show you how I made it. It's pretty simple. The new feature is crazy powerful and simple to use actually. So first we need to add trigger. How we are going to add the trigger. I'm just looping the pages, by the way, this is nothing special, just links. So each link has attribute. This is the new feature. Data trigger, data trigger. And it triggers this element. The moment I click, the moment I click, animation goes down. The moment I click, the animation goes down. Before URL changes, actually. Before page refreshes, we see the animation going down. Okay? So that's why actually, that's why I made it a little bit faster, the first animation. Let me show you the animations I added on footer because it doesn't create the index issues and stuff, you know. This is the first one and it has the same class. See? Trigger. Trigger me. And this is the trigger me. This is the div container, okay? And this is the animation. It is just going down because starting position is negative 200 pixel like outside of the window and I am just bringing down the window like it is 100 100 nothing special and it has gradient that's it and it has a logo inside it that's it flex middle middle nothing special 100 100 okay fix it so of course it has the index yeah, so always add a little bit the index. This is the animation. It just goes down. And then page refreshes. The moment page refreshes, this animation plays. And this animation uh, animation plays every time page opens. Okay? This doesn't need any trigger or anything. Every time a page opens, this animation plays. That's it. And it's almost the same. 100%, 100%, but this is starts visible, okay? Zero, zero, this, this starts visible. The index again, and same gradient, exactly. I mean, if we make it different, it, you will see the difference, actually. So it starts zero, and we move out of the view. We move out of the view, okay? That's it. Pretty simple. Uh, I mean, you don't have to add delay or duration like me. I, I just fine tune tuning and stuff uh, depends on the position and uh, the duration depends on the position as well. Like it depends how much you want to move and stuff, you know, and you can make it a little bit visible or completely transparent or something. Doesn't matter. So we are just tricking people's mind, like it feels like this exactly same animation, but it is not. 
and this is how all the other builders works as well like all the other animation plugins works as well that's how transition works it's pretty simple isn't it yeah what do you guys think <laughs> cool yeah cool isn't it now i think now it feels like i mean this feature not bad not bad at all huh? yeah i like it too uh, i was thinking about it for a while like like before even starting to make the gsf animation but now i i made it and it is really stable and now i decided to add this transition feature as well and it really works well actually and I, i'm planning to use like with other stuff like this flick trigger it works really well and now you can use it with scroll without scroll by the way this is scroll false all of them is scroll false okay all of them play just once when you see it and they come touch with my visible viewport they play it okay but this one's completely scroll trigger yeah this, this is my debugging stuff i'm just showing it like uh, what possible what's not possible i mean almost everything possible color changing easy okay that's that i just want to show you guys this new feature you guys can make these transitions as well and it can be anything i made it just like a simple movement but it can be really anything like you you don't have to make it like exactly same uh, like me you can make it like left from left and this goes right i don't know and then we have to move uh, right let's make this uh yeah okay zero okay uh, i made it left right okay left okay left zero okay let's let's see it boom boom look at that look at that so easy oh my god how easy is it you know so fun <laughs> okay i need to finish the video okay you guys have more fun with it okay just try it <laughs> enjoy the feature